At our recent conference, I announced that United Future is now going to push for a total ban on the use of 1080 poison across New Zealand. Why, you might ask, and what is it about 1080 that makes it so controversial? The reason for the ban is very simple. 1080 is in widespread use across New Zealand as a way of dealing with all sorts of pests. The problem is it kills literally everything. Possums are its main target, but all sorts of wildlife and bird life and other life forms are damaged by the indiscriminate dropping of 1080 as it is at the moment. And then those animals don't die quickly. They die a lingering and painful death. They don't die neatly and tidy in out of the way places. They die in waterways. They die in other areas that impact upon the overall environment. And there are real questions asked about the effectiveness of 1080 also. And many communities around New Zealand are now rising up and saying we don't want 1080 dropped close to or near to our neighbourhoods, our communities, our towns, our waterways, etc. So United Future says now it's time to actually listen to what the communities of New Zealand are saying, to support those district councils and other local authorities that have already imposed bans. And it's time for us at a government level to take responsibility for finding a suitable replacement for 1080 that doesn't have the adverse effects that people are concerned about, that recognises the ability of people to go out and trap these pests and remove them naturally in that respect, that looks to other alternatives that can be used to curb the growth of these pests in New Zealand. We're the only country in the world that still uses 1080. We spend millions of dollars of each year importing the product for distribution. If we're the only country in the world still using it, and if we're a country that prides ourselves on our clean, green, natural image, it's incongruous to be poisoning our environment with indiscriminate 1080 drops. So they are the reasons why United Future has taken the stance that it will take the lead in pushing for the phasing out of 1080 during the next parliamentary term and its replacement by better methods that protect our biodiversity but which also enhance our clean green image and make New Zealanders confident again in enjoying their environment and being proud of their outdoor heritage.